Good morning, Anne Brothers, and welcome to Morning Prayer on behalf of the Episcopal Church of the Atonement in the Edgewater neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois, on this Feast of St. Barnabas the Apostle. Um, welcome to Google Meet. Um, for now, we'll just ask participants to mute your microphones. It's up to you whether you want to mute your video. Comments can be made by clicking on the, the bubble in the lower right hand of your screen if you're on a, a computer. Um, this is important when we get to the um, community prayer section of morning prayer. While we're gathering ourselves in, in, in prayer this morning, it's our custom to light candles to signify God's presence. I'm going to do that now. I invite you to do the same. If you don't have a uh, book of common prayer at home, we follow the structure of prayer of the Brotherhood of St. Gregory Daily Office app in your computer, in your in the URL line of your computer or your smartphone or your tablet. If you put dailyoffice.app there, it will take you there. Um, once you're in the app, there's two important settings. In the upper right-hand corner, there's three small bars or three small lines there. If you click or touch on there, um, it will take you to the settings. Two important settings for us is that you'll want to set the Psalm cycle to the 30 Psalms. You'll want to set the Lord's Prayer to traditional language. If you are using a prayer book at home, um, I'm gonna give you some um, page numbers now and some page numbers along the way. Morning prayer will begin on page 80 of the prayer book. We're um, uh, the page 80 of the prayer book followed by the Vanity on page 82. Psalms today will be Psalms 56, 57, and 58, starting on page 662 of the prayer book. Canticles today, because it's a feast day, will be Canticles 16 and 21. Canticle 16 is on page 92 of the prayer book, and Canticle 21 is on page 95. And at the end, we'll do the general thanksgiving, and that's on page 101. Before we get going, I'm going to read the, the hagiography for St. Bartimus. Joseph, a Levite born in Cyprus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, sold a field he owned, brought, bought, brought the money, and turned it over to the apostles. This first reference in the New Testament to Barnabas introduces one whose missionary efforts would cause him to be called, like the Twelve, an apostle. As a Jew of the Diaspora, Barnabas had much in common with Paul. When Paul came to Jerusalem after his conversion, the disciples were afraid to receive him. It was Barnabas who brought Paul to the apostles and declared to them how, on the road to Damascus, Paul had seen the Lord and had preached boldly in the name of Jesus. Later, Barnabas, having settled in Antioch, sent for Paul to join him in leading the Christian church in that city. Barnabas and Paul were sent by the disciples in Antioch to carry famine relief to the church in Jerusalem. Upon their return, the church in Antioch sent them on their first missionary journey beginning at Cyprus. At Lystra in Asia Minor, the people took them to be gods, supposing the eloquent Paul to be Mercury, the messenger of the gods, and Barnabas to be Jupiter, the chief of the gods, a testimony to the commanding presence of Barnabas. The association of Barnabas and Paul was broken after their journey by a disagreement about Mark, who had left the mission to return to Jerusalem. After attending the church, after attending the council of Jerusalem with Barnabas, Paul made a return visit to the church that he and Barnabas had founded in Asia Minor. Barnabas and Mark went to Cyprus, where Barnabas is traditionally honored as the founder of the church. Tradition has that he was martyred at Salamis in Cyprus. We'll take a moment here. Begin morning prayer. We give thanks to the Father who has made us worthy to share in the inheritance of saints and light. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. 
Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Together, let us pray Psalms 56, 57, and 58, starting on page 662 of the prayer book. Have mercy on me, O God, for my enemies are hounding me. All day long they assault and oppress me. They hound me all the day long. Truly, there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can flesh do to me? All day long they damage my cause. Their only thought is to do me evil. They band together, they lie in wait. They spy upon my footsteps because they seek my life. They Shall they escape despite their wickedness? O God, in your anger, cast down the peoples. You have noted my lamentation, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not recorded in your book? Whenever I call upon you, my enemies will be put to flight. This I know, for God is on my side. In God the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can mortals do to me? I am bound by the vow I made to you, O God. I will, I will present to you thank offerings. For you have rescued my soul from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for I have taken refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings, I will take refuge until this time of trouble has gone by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who maintains my cause. He will send from heaven and save me. He will confound those who trample upon me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions that devour the people. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharp sword. They have laid a net for my feet and I am bowed low. They have dug a pit before me, but have fallen into it themselves. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God and your glory over all the earth. My heart is firmly fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Wake up, my spirit, awake, lute and harp. I myself will waken the dawn. I will confess you among the peoples, O Lord. I will sing praise to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is greater than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. Do you indeed decree righteousness, you rulers? Do you judge the peoples with equity? No, you devise evil in your hearts and your hands deal out violence in the land. The wicked are perverse from the womb. Liars go astray from their birth. They are as venomous as a serpent. They are like the deaf adder which stops its ears, which does not heed the voice of the charmer. 
no matter how skillful his charming. O God, break their teeth in their mouths. Pull the fangs of the young lions, O Lord. Let them vanish like water that runs off. Let them wither like trodden grass. Let them be like the snail that melts away, like a stillborn child that never sees the sun. Before they bear fruit, let them be cut down like a briar. Like thorns and thistles, let them be swept away. The righteous will be glad when they see vengeance. They will bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked. And they will surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who rules in the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. The rich person toils to amass a fortune, and when he rests he fills himself with his dainties. The poor person toils to make a meager living, and if ever he rests he becomes needy. One who loves gold will not be justified. One who pursue, pursues money will be led astray by it. Many have come to ruin because of gold, and their destruction has met them face to face. It is a stumbling block to those who are avid for it, and every fool will be taken captive by it. Blessed is the rich person who is found blameless and does not go after gold. Who is he that we may praise him? For he has done wonders among his people. Who has been tested by it and has been found perfect? Let it be for him a ground for boasting. Who has had the power to transgress and did not transgress, and to do evil and did not, not, and did not do it? His prosperity will be established, and the assembly will proclaim his acts of charity. <clears throat> Here ends the reading. Together, let us pray Canticle 16, found on page 92 of the prayer book, the Song of Zechariah, Song of Zechariah on page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul. No one claimed private property of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as had need, and he had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Here ends the reading. 
Together, let us pray Canticle 21, the You Are God, the Tadeum Laudamus, found on page 95 of the prayer book. Can Canticle 21 on page 95. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the Eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Together, let us say the Apostles' Creed found on page 96 of the prayer book, followed by the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Together, let us pray Suffrages B, found on page 98 of the prayer book, Suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Grant, O God, that we may follow the example of your faithful servant Barnabas, who, seeking not his own renown, but the well-being of your church, gave generously of his life and substance for the relief of the poor and spread of the gospel. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble service, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Next are the prayers for the Episcopal Church of the Atonement in Chicago and beyond for the week of June 9th. You can add your own intentions either silently or aloud at home, or you can add them to the comments feed of this Google Meet, and hopefully I will see them and be able to read them. We pray for the sick. For those in any need or trouble, 
and for those who have asked for our prayers. We pray for Dean, Vicki, Brother David Luke in BSG, Rob L, Carol R, Cheryl, Sean, Jonathan, Devin, Killian, Dennis, Mark, former President Carter, King Charles, Princess Kate, Arun, all with COVID-19, Kelly, Ryan B, Shelby, Kathy S, Jason, B, Tyler, Cecilia, Ron E, William, Ron E, William Sr, Jim, all who mourn, for Ken, a deacon, David, Thomas, and Greg, who are priests. We pray for an end to war and violence, remembering especially the people of Ukraine, Russia, Iran, the Red Sea, Myanmar, and Yemen, for justice and for an end to violence and division in our neighborhood, city, and nation. We pray for all healthcare workers, especially Joseph Basil, Jackie, Gary, Will, Choi, Erica K, Larry, Kieran, Lee, Kari, William, Eric, Lisa, Thomas, and Emily. For all families and children in this city and state, for all expectant parents and for all prisoners. We pray for members of our military services on active duty, especially Celeste and Nate, and for Scott serving sec as security in Iraq. We pray for Paula, our bishop, Charles, our rector, Amanda and Dave, our wardens, and for the members of our vestry, for our sister parishes of St. Benedict's and St. Matthew's in Chiapas, Mexico. We give thanksgiving this week for the birthdays of Carol Trapp, Father Gary Lawler, Nicholas uh, Chalice, Janine Singleton. This, give thanksgiving this week for the diaconal, ordina diaconal ordination anniversaries of Father Tom Scott and Father Charles Everson. Give thanksgiving for the wedding anniversary of Kevin Simcox and Carolyn Neal. And we pray for the departed. For the, Rev for the Reverend James Lawson Jr., Jurgen Mol Moulton, retired Apollo 8 astronaut William Anders, victims of gun violence, and at the anniversaries of their deaths for Stephen Pate, Nyang Choi Louis, Linda Sachia, Florence Starr, Alessandra Norma Aranda, Denver Charles Davis, Robert Branham, Brent and Maurice Marcy Cameron, Richard Blonde, John Jensen, Eleanor Dahmer, and John Toman. And we have a prayer for peace. Lord, God of Abraham, God of the prophets, God of love, you created us and you call us to live as brothers and sisters. Give us the strength daily to be instruments of peace. Enable us to see everyone who crosses our path as our brother or sister. Make us sensitive to the plea of our citizens who entreat us to turn our weapons of war into implements of peace, our trepidation into confident trust, and our quarreling into forgiveness. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Together, let us pray the general thanksgiving found on page 101 of the prayer book. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. This concludes morning prayer. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, you can join us for morning prayer every morning here with the Episcopal Church of the Atonement at 8.30 a.m. Um, this evening at 5.30 a.m., there's going to be evening prayer. That's on Tuesdays. That's also on the Google Meet platform. 
um, weekly mass schedule, Monday and Friday at 7.30 a.m., Tuesday and Thursday at noon, Wednesday at 7 p.m., Saturday at 10 a.m., Sunday masses at 8 a.m., a sung mass at 9 a.m., and a solemn high mass at 11 a.m., which is broadcast on YouTube. So everybody, have a great week. Be kind and be safe.